What, what is your reading of, of where we are at the moment and, and what you think is going to happen? Will there be a deal, uh, perhaps by the end of the month, and would that get through Parliament? I think one of the mistakes that we've made is to think that the difficulty in getting a deal is about malevolence from the EU, when actually there is a certain bureaucratic inertia in the way the EU operates, because it is, frankly, a nightmare to get 27, 28 countries to agree on anything. So I've always thought that there just won't be a way to overcome that inertia unless Ireland decides they want a deal. And if Ireland is hanging out and saying we can't live with what's on the table, then I think the rest of the EU countries will, will follow suit. And I think what's encouraging about the last week is that the Irish seem to have changed their calculations and worked out that if they had to face a Boris Johnson with a majority in Parliament after a general election, that might be someone who is actually harder to deal with than the Boris Johnson okay, they have now. But it still seems that everything is very late in the day. Do you think there will have to be an extension, however much Boris Johnson has said you know, that he'd rather die in a ditch than do that? Well, I think it's going to be very difficult to get a, a deal uh, with all the legislation through Parliament by October the 31st, which is why I didn't want to offer that guarantee during the leadership campaign in the summer. But I still hope it happens. And I still think for the first time, if there is a deal, and frankly, if we needed an extension of of a few days, um, I think people would just feel the end is in sight and uh, that's the important thing. Okay. And, and say that we're in a slightly different scenario and there is, um, a, it looks like the, the full extension till January and a general election takes place during that period and the Conservative manifesto includes a promise to leave with no deal. Would well, you stand on that manifesto yourself? Well, I... Um, believe that it's very important that no deal remains on the table because it is the one outcome that European countries want the least. And so I and I think that these negotiations have gone wrong when no deal has been taken off the table. Um, but what I am confident would happen is that we would be standing on a manifesto whilst keeping no deal on the table to aim to negotiate a deal and negotiate one as quickly so as possible. So if it was phrased in a slightly more emollient way, you would stand on that manifesto? Absolutely. Jeremy Hunt, thank you.